Stitchy friends, it's Stitching Sarah here, hope you're okay. Today is Saturday the 9th of November 2019. Um, welcome back if you are returning, hello and welcome if you are new. Um, there's been a little bit of activity um, over the last sort of, couple of weeks, uh, which is fantastic. And um, so I thought I'd start off by uh, introducing myself to those who are new or um, fairly new. So my name's Sarah, I am 39 um, and I live in the UK. I live in a beautiful house uh, which we moved into at the end of July and I'm very very fortunate that I have a room um, just for me and my um, creativity. Uh, it's absolutely fantastic, um, I'm so so lucky so so lucky um so yes i i'm not originally from nottinghamshire um i'm from a county called worcestershire which is about an hour and a half away um from nottinghamshire um but i live work um up here now and um love it um yes i do lots of different crafts so cross stitch uh dabble in knitting and crochet um, paper, crafting, card making, scrapbooking, all of the things, all of the things. Um, so yeah, so that's just a little bit about me, um, in case you are new. Wow, what a fun, what, wow, not fantastic, what a crazy, what a crazy couple of weeks it's been. The weather here in the UK has been just off the charts so much rain um to the point that we've had flooding um there has been flooding up sort of in uh, sheffield um and that kind of way which isn't far from me um we've had flooding even in my county um and not far from me at all just literally up the road there was a mudslide yesterday um, and houses were affected. So you know, it's crazy, crazy amount. Um, I hope wherever you are, wherever you are in the world, that you are safe and well. And um, that's the most important thing. Um, so yes. So I have done a little bit of stitching. As I said, I've kind of been occupied a little bit with other things. And that other thing is very exciting. I have, as of 10 a.m. this morning at UK time, uh, launched my new website. Um, so it is sarahelizabethdesigns.co.uk. Um, it's kind of officially launched. Um, I have a shop, and at the moment, there is just cards and canvases like mixed media canvases at the moment but over the sort of coming um, weeks and months I'll be looking at sort of developing more things and, and adding more products to the shop so um, yeah I'll leave a, a link below in the description for the website um, so please do go check it out um, I would love to, to see you over there um, and I'll leave a link to the Facebook page as well um, for the shop um, so yes shameless plug but very very exciting news for me today um yeah you'll have to excuse the the craziness over there because creativity makes a mess um i just haven't i've not had a chance to come up and tidy um and i've got my sign up again um in a slightly different spot i don't know if that makes it better or worse to be honest um but it's up there so it's all good the sign is up it means floss tube so, um, apart from launching a website, what have I meant to? Um, so I've done a bit of stitching, I've got a new start, new start and finish, a whip, and a giveaway this week. Sorry, not one giveaway, not two giveaways, but three. Three giveaways this week, um, very, very exciting. Um, we will start with, what should we start with? We'll start with a new start. The new start that is that is a whip. Um, it, it's so fresh 
a new start. It was started this morning. So, um, this is my start on the uh, Mermaid bookmark kit from Spinnyfield Stitchery. Um, so the one I have is called Elena. Um, I will insert a picture here of what it will look like as a finished piece. Um, but this is this is where I am. Um, so I'm starting on the border, started in the middle and kind of worked across. Um, beautiful design, I love the colours, I love the colour scheme of it. Um, so that is from the Spinnyfield Stitchery um, and any of the shops that I mentioned today I will leave a link below um, in the description box. So that's my new start. I started that this morning um, which kind of leads me quite nicely into giveaway. So last time I showed you, I did an unboxing of the Christmas mystery box from Spinnyfield Stitchery. Um, a beautiful um, mix of patterns and designs in there, all kind of with a theme of Christmas um, and all coordinated together um, and it's a beautiful, beautiful thing. Um, so I reached out to Harriet and asked if I could buy one of her kits and I think as of now there's one kit remaining, there's one mystery box remaining um, on the website um, at Harriet's um, shop. So I was quite lucky to snag one. Um, I don't have the kit, it is with Harriet and Harriet will ship it directly to the winner. So, um, if you want to know what's inside that box, I will um, leave a link in the description box to my video from last week where I go through um, what's inside the box. Very, very exciting. So that's prize, prize one, giveaway number one. Giveaway number two, um, this is courtesy of Harriet. At Spinnyfield Stitchery. Um, so when I kind of reached out to her and said I'd like to, to give away um, one of the mystery boxes, um, she very, very kindly donated um, some of her pants. Um, so, sorry, one pattern from her and um, a couple, with the permission of the, the designers, um, a couple of the patterns from the kit, from the mystery box. Um, so, big shout out to let me get this right just one second because i don't want to say it wrong big shout out to the enchanted pattern company and to cross stitch bitch um for agreeing to um, participate in the giveaway so the second giveaway is going to be the Christmas tree from Spinnyfield Stitchery and I'll put a picture here of what it will look like. Um, so that's one part. Second part, I can't show you these because these are charts but I will insert here um, a picture of what one of them will look like and that's from that's courtesy of the cross stitch bitch um so that's prize number two and i think what i'm gonna do is i'll have a dig around in my stash and i will find some ada to go with that um so that you can um stitch one or both of the designs. Um, so just to um, repeat, so in number two is gonna be the Christmas tree from the Spinnyfield Stitchery and the um, sausage dog and the llama patterns from Cross Stitch Bitch. Um, so I will have put here the pictures that I have of finished pieces for those and that will come with Ada 
And then number three is again from Cross Stitch Bitch. So it's the um, Sausage Dog and the Llama. But I will also include in there the Rockin' Robin um, Christmas gift tag from the Enchanted Pattern Company. And here's a picture of what that looks like finished. So, and again, I think I will put some um, Ada with that out of my stash. And my stash is there. That's where my stash of fabric is. And it goes all the way back. Um, so yeah, so those are the three giveaways this week. All courtesy of Spinnyfield Stitchery, there's her details, but I'll leave a link below um, to her shop. Go check her out, go and give her some love. Um, so thank you so much, Harriet, um, and thank you to Sophie and to Caroline as well um, for agreeing to um, donate your patterns for this giveaway. So in order to be in it to win it, um, you I'd really like you to be a subscriber please do not say giveaway in your comment if you do it will be deleted um, and I would like to know from you what is your favorite time of year to stitch like so is it springtime is it Christmas is it winter generally is it the summer so what's your favorite time of year to stitch and why what do you like about that season or that time of year hey everyone uh, stitching Sarah here it is uh, later on in the day um, on Saturday the 9th of November I'm jumping on here because as I've come to edit my video um, I have found that a big portion of what I um, recorded has not recorded properly. Um, so this will be inserted in the video that is hopefully due to be uploaded very, very shortly. Um, again, excuse the chaos around me. Um, so what I need to say is, and I'm gonna just <clears throat> go over this again. Um, and hopefully edit out of the video what isn't needed. Um, so the three prizes that are available um, for um, that are for, up for grabs. Um, the I would like you to be a subscriber of my channel. Um, I would like you not to say the word giveaway in your comment. If you do, I will delete your comment. Um, it's just to stop um, internet trolls. Um, so please don't say giveaway. And I would like to know what your favourite time of year is to stitch. What's your favourite season? Um, do you have one? Do you just like stitching all year round, or is there a particular part of the year that you that's your favourite? Um, is it that there's lots of designs um, around at that time that you like? Um, is it that there's a particular style? Um, you know, how do you decorate your house? Do you decorate with lots of different um, cross stitch pieces? Um, do you have very little cross stitch um, displayed in your house? Um, whatever, whatever, you know, but what I would like you to answer is what's your favourite um, time of year or season to stitch and why? Um, so closing date is two weeks from today so today is the 9th of November 2019 um, I'm actually going to take it to the Sunday I think so that will be Sunday the 24th of November and at 6 p.m. UK time is when I will close um, the giveaway um, I will do a draw I do a randomly um, generated draw three times um, and I will therefore select the three winners. Um, I will let you know, um, I'll um, comment on your comment um, to let you know that you are a winner um, and then for you to get in touch with um, your details. Um, 
what I didn't say in the bit when I was talking about the Christmas mystery box um, and one thing important to note here. Um, so as I said, um, I don't have that Christmas mystery box here. Um, that's with Harriet of Spinnyfield Strip. Uh, uh, that is with Harriet of Spinnyfield Stitchery. Um, so Harriet is going to mail it straight from her um, to whoever I tell. If you have any um, issue or worry about me passing on your details to somebody else, please don't enter. Um, I, I don't have that box here. Um, that's what I've arranged with Harriet. So if that causes you any problem, please don't enter. Um, the other items I have here and I will be sending them out. Um, so yes, that's all I wanted to say. Back to normal programming. So what's your favourite um, time of year to stitch and why? Um, three chances. Thanks, Harriet. Um, so, okay, so that's that. Um, next up. It's a new start, new design and finish. All in one. So last time I showed... Um, the sparkle pattern that I had um, designed, put together and stitched and I was really pleased with how it turned out um, and there'll be exciting news to share with you on that um, soon. Um, I don't want to say too much just now um, but yes yeah, so that's kind of parked but then I kind of got the the itch to design something else and I've kind of been scouring for Know, quotes and things like that um, seems to be what I'm gravitating towards at the moment I don't don't know why um, so but the most recent um, Cinderella film um, has a quote in it and um, it's kind of like words to live by really um, and I just loved it so I designed and um, stitched up a piece um, and here it is so, it is, have courage and be kind. Um, originally when I charted it, I missed off the Cinderella bit, uh, but I decided to add it in. And I love how it turned out, I really do. Uh, so this is stitched on a piece of 25 count um, Lugana, um, and it's in the colour frosted garden and it's the opalescent fabric and I hope you can see it's quite subtle sparkle yes you can there we go um so yeah it's opalescent um lugana and it's in the colour um frost no yes frosted garden from the crafty kitten um who is a UK dyer um I'll leave a link to her shop below um so yes really love how it turned out i need to just figure out how to finish this i'm thinking an embroidery hoop perhaps um and then hang it up in here um so yeah so this is going to come to my shop very very soon I just need to work out a logistics of like exporting the chart and I'm thinking just still like going on in my head I'm thinking of option and um, doing a couple of options so like a PDF a downloadable PDF and a physical chart um, and maybe doing a kit version uh, unfortunately, I don't have any more of this fabric, so um, I. But I do have like Ada, and I have some other types of fabric. So I'm going to see what I've got, um, and kind of what would work with the colour scheme um, of the the design, um, and maybe offer that out um, as an option. I don't know what you think. Um, please comment below. Um, if you think that's a good idea. Um, like I say, I just need to kind of work out the logistics of it all um, and hopefully 
it will be up on the website very very soon very soon uh, so yes if anybody's interested these are the colors that i used um so There we go. All DMC colours. Um, and I just love it. So yeah. So this is Courage. Uh, that's what I'm kind of, I'm leaning towards um, calling it. It's Courage. If the, if my phone just kind of did a weird thing and it's balanced precariously. I've had it balancing precariously, my camera. Um, and that's now twice it's top up. So I think I'm going to have to speed this up. Um, so it doesn't... I still haven't figured... I still need to get a new tripod or holder for my phone for filming. I need to get on that this week. So yes. Um, so that's Courage. Really pleased with that. Love how it turned out. Um, Next up is Whip. You will see a distinct lack of presence of the Topaz Fairy. It's the beading. I need daylight to do the beading, really. I struggle with doing it sort of in the evening with artificial light. So I think it's a project for the weekend in the day. But then I'm torn because there are other things that I would want to do in the daytime, in the weekend, on the weekends. Dilemma. Dilemma. I don't know what to do. Anyway. My camera's doing weird stuff. Or my phone, rather. My phone is doing weird stuff. I really don't know what's going on. Uh, so final thing to share with you today is... Oh, that's bad. There we go. Pretty little Tokyo. This is where I am up to. Um, needle minder. I can't remember where I got it from. It's one of three shops and I can't remember. If I remember, I will leave a link to them below. Uh, so this is Pretty Little Tokyo from um, Satsuma Street. Um, this is looking fantastic um i don't think i had done had i done i don't i hadn't done this um, when you saw it last time i've not done the bridge um so the bridge is done um well i'm pretty much done um this thing here i don't know i can't remember what that is um so yeah it's looking fantastic um thinking again that this might be a um, hoop finish um, I did pretty little Sydney last year or the year before uh, that was a present for a friend and I did that as a hoop finish so I think this might this might be a hoop finish um, so yeah there we are that's all we have um, this time Told you short and sweet. Um, Topaz Fairy. It's, it's, it's got to be done. So it's like, this is the soundtrack to my stitching life, isn't it, at the moment? Topaz Fairy. Got to be done. Um, but it has. It's got to be done. Time is nearly running out. So I'll try and get on that this week. Um, other than that, I'm figuring out courage, the courage pattern and how to sort of do the things with that. Um, and it will be hopefully this next week um, up on the website. Um, 
looking forward to next week next week is a whole week off work um we're both off so again that's rare it's a rare treat um things are being delivered um so that's exciting stuff got tidying to do not so exciting um but hopefully i'll get some stitching cr and creative time in next week um amongst all of the sorting washing tidying chucking out things um so yes um thanks ever so much for stopping by really appreciate it um thanks in advance for going to visit um my shop um I hope you do like it. I hope you like what there is. Uh, like I say, I'll be kind of, I'll be building on that um, in the coming weeks and months. So stay tuned um, and watch out for that. Um, yes. Until next time, take care. Happy stitching. 